Hi guys, it's Sam for Digital Me, and um, in this tutorial, I'm going to be looking at a uh, function in Cinema 4D called the Virtual Walkthrough. Um, so let's jump straight in. Uh, I've got a scene here of uh, something I'm working on for a, a game engine. Um, it's an apartment. Uh, let me just. I've got a display tag on here with backface culling. So let's. There we go. So we can see inside it now. And. Uh, yeah, so we've got a sort of kitchen area, living room, a couple of rooms over here, small bathroom and a hallway. Um, it's not finished yet, but it will illustrate my point. Um, okay, so let's talk about the virtual walkthrough tool. Uh, you'll find it if you go up to tools, go down to virtual walkthrough, and then click virtual walkthrough. And what that does now is it actually, um, if I press the left mouse key, and then rotate, I can look around. And uh, the WASD keys move me backwards and forwards. Now, obviously that's not great because uh, I'm not on the floor. So if I press, I think it's the R and F keys, you actually go up and down. So let's just get a good level. There we go. And if I go forward now, plop, it plops me onto the floor. It's detected there's something underneath me and uh, it plops me down. Okay, so, what can we do with this? Well, first of all, it automatically stops me from doing things like walking off the edge of stuff. So this is kind of the same controls as, as like a first person shoot, shooter. Um, so yeah, I can't fall off of ledges. Uh, I can't walk through walls either. So I'm trying to stray for a wall there. Won't let me, um, which is pretty handy. So it allows you to explore your scene like a first person game, really. Um, you'll notice that if I go up to my kitchen counter, I'm a little bit short. So let's talk about um, some of the options we've got in here. Okay, so if we go to our work virtual walkthrough and go to the first tab, which is options, we've got a couple of different modes. So we've got walkthrough, which is, as you've just seen, um, flyby. So now, basically, gravity is turned off, so I can come out of the window and I can just sort of fly around kind of thing. Um, Still can't go through walls though, so that's fine. Okay, um, we've got tank controls. Oh yeah. So yeah, okay, that's a bit dodgy. So where you're looking is almost like the uh, turret on top and it doesn't matter, like I'm pressing forward now. And even though I'm pressing forward, it um, still treats, yeah, it's just a bit, a bit weird. So I'm gonna put it back to um, walk through. We've got look turn mode, body turn, quick head turn. Okay, so what's this do? Okay, that's a little bit more natural, I suppose. Um, okay, it's about the same actually. Um, okay, we've got this stop when colliding with walls. So if you notice, if I collide this with this wall, I'll sort of scrape along it. But if uh, you tick this on, it's about self-explanatory. When I collide with the wall, I'll just stop in my tracks. Um, so there's a few different objects uh, options in here. Maintain velocity momentum. Uh, so obviously when I press forward and then it carries on when I let go a little bit. So it sort of carries your momentum. Obviously with that off, you just stop dead in your tracks kind of thing. Uh, if you disable collisions with walls, um, you will just walk straight through them. So that's good. And same with the floor. And we've got some other, other options there. Okay, so that's sort of the bulk of the options. Uh, now let's deal with the fact that I'm a little bit short. Um, and go to the scale and threshold page. Okay, so we've got a few options here. Um, the threshold for climbing stairs, uh, falling off of things, uh, collision threshold, all that kind of stuff. Um, you can play around with those. They're pretty self-explanatory. Uh, but here we've got scale, eye height, so I'm going to say that my eye height's, uh, I don't know, 165, something like that. As you can see, it boosts me up. And uh, now that looks a little bit more natural, like I'm actually sort of, I'm not a midget. Um, okay, so speed, this determines how fast you're um, going to accelerate, um, what your top movement speed is, uh, the speed of your mouse, um, banking, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to skip record for now, HUD. This is just what's on the screen, really. Uh, so this is the direction compass, 
um, and you've got like a flag for when you're recording, um, all that kind of stuff. Um, okay, shortcuts. This basically describes the keys. So we've got W, S, A, D for the um, sort of strafing and movement forwards and backwards. Move up is R. <laughs> I've moved through the floor now, so uh, there we go. Gone back for it. Okay, um, and then we've got bank left and right, the Z and C keys. So you sort of tilt your head kind of thing. Let's try and get that back to normal. Um, you've got zooming in and out, speed up and down, start recording, stop recording. Now this is the fun bit that I wanted to get to really. Um, if we go to the record tab, you can see here that we can start recording. So, uh, okay, let's just press start recording and uh, I'll go back to the screen and start moving around. So we can see we've got a hallway. Oh, I'm stuck on something. Okay, so this should be recorded. Go into this room. Uh, you know, have a look around. Blah de blah de blah. Go back into here. Great. Okay, so. I can stop recording now and then you can scooch through with this slider so there we go we can sort of have a look at where I went what I looked at all the rest of it okay now the interesting bit is underneath um, well actually before we move on to that uh, we've got this second pass recording rotation only so if I click that on and then start recording it will play back what I did initially but I can actually control the rotation so uh, duh, 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 duh. Okay, let's stop that. Let's have a look. Oh, I've got to start back at the beginning, I think. Uh, reset recorded movement, start recording. Duh, 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 duh. Let's try that. Oh no, that reset the whole thing. But yeah, you can do a second pass recording um, that will just record the rotation of the camera, um, which will overlay on top of your initial recording. So I'm just gonna record some more movement. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, and then stop recording. Okay, so we've got three seconds, right. Underneath, we've got right recorded movements into splines, so it'll be like a track. Then we've got right recorded movements into camera, and we've got one for uh, record movement directly into a camera. Um, but I'm just going to use this right recorded movement into a camera. The frame interval um, basically describes when you want keyframes, so uh, if I put that to one, it should be a little bit more accurate. Um, and then you've got create the camera. Um, Mm -mm -mm. Oh, it didn't appear like it recorded. Pardon me. I'm just going to... There we go. Because it just recorded the movement. Okay. So, blah, blah, blah. Da, 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 da. Come back again. Okay, we've got some movement. Stop recording. There we go. Okay, um, so yeah, I'm going to put a frame interval to one and then going to create a camera. I've already got a camera in the scene, but um, I'm going to create a new one. And now I've got a camera here. And uh, you can see, actually, that you can see the path and whatnot. So um, you can see we've got a keyframe for every frame. And there's only three seconds on the clock. But it, if you drag this out, it would have recorded the whole lot. And you can see the actual um, path here. And now, oops, forgive me. Now we've got that. I can actually come out of this camera and go into my other camera and play it back. Okay, so I'm not actually making any movements now. This has all been recorded into a camera. So what this means is that you could do a walkthrough of uh, of your um, you know, scene or building or whatever, record those movements, and then set it up for render. Um, could even put a bit of motion blur on there, whatever you like. Um, so that is really, really handy, the fact that you can actually record a walkthrough and uh, have it appear like a first-person sort of shooter, really. Okay, well, that's uh, that's all I wanted to show you guys. So um, I hope that's helped someone or been helpful in any way. 
Um, don't forget to visit digitalme.uk, check out the merch store, donate on the about page of my website. That'd be really helpful. Um, I'll put links to everything in the, uh, the description underneath this video. Don't forget Facebook, Twitter to get your updates. Um, cheers guys. All right. Bye.